You tonight, the violent attack at a park that has one mom turning to 13 Action News. I still feel like I got hit by a truck. What's even worse is the whole thing was random. A mom punched in the face, knocked to the ground, kicked, beaten unconscious, and for what? It's a story you'll see only right here on 13 Action News. Moss Society uncovers what could be part of a dangerous game. She's live from the park near Fort Apache and Mall. Masa. Trisha, the mom was here at this bench after 8.30 at night. Take a look at, at that street lamp. She said she picked it to sit here because it was well lit and she thought she would be safe. <laughs> Almost too scared to get out of the car. It takes a lot to come here, so... I don't want to come back. But with her husband by her side, mom of two, Angie Johansson, took us back. I didn't even know where I was when I woke up. Her legs on the grass, her head on the rocks. I got the black eye, I got a bloody nose. I still see the bruise right there. Yeah, it's hard to breathe. They think I might have cracked a rib or two. She says she was sitting on this bench when for no reason, a stranger punched her in the face. I wonder why it happened. If it was a game, find a better game. <clears throat> the so-called knockout game happening across the country. Disturbing YouTube videos show the single sucker punch. Sometimes the victim completely caught off guard. Other times, How you doing? the attacker speaking first. Knockout. Do you think this was the knockout game? I do think it was. He didn't take anything. The difference? This was more than just one punch. Johansson says at the time she fought back. Now, not feeling so strong. No, no. I don't think anybody should be able to take that kind of power away from me, but they did. Facing her fears, speaking out for one reason. I'd really hate to find out something happened to one of these kids or another young parent. And you can see just how dark it is on the playground. That mom tells me she's not sure if there were other teenagers here and actually watching all of this happen. This happened on September 29th. If you have any information, you should contact Crime Stoppers. The mom tells me she did file a police report. We are reaching out to police to see whether this is part of a new trend here in the Valley. Reporting live, Masa Saidi, 13 Action News. Masa